Hi, welcome to uh, this video. It's about a post that uh, we made on the forum. And in the forum they say, I would like to have something similar like this, looking like that. Is that possible? And there is a response from Nick, Nick Petrov, team member, and he says, look, do this and that. So I'm gonna learn something. This is the first time ever, which is great. So this thing here, can we change this? He says, okay, just install PowerLine. sudo pacman minus s power. Let's see what power we have. There's a PowerLine 2 as well. PowerLine fonts, probably also interesting to test out. Okay, so PowerLine, that's what he says. We get a common a Python. All right, installed. Then the next thing to do is to add a, a bunch of code bunch of code, control H, it needs to go in bash RC. Bash RC is already quite full. Uh, reload, let's close everything, close all files, file like that. Just one file. So what I'm just gonna do is copy paste. So I'm copy pasting these lines. Control C, and I'm gonna put them in here. Control V. So, powerline daemon, control alt I have a powerline daemon, it seems. Yes, I have a powerline config as well. And a render. Okay, so then you get curious, and that's good, because that's how you learn. You just type it in, and then he says, oh, he needs a path, tmux shell, stuff like that. And what does powerline itself do? Must provide at least one argument, then you start typing. Type, type in help and then you see oh my god I can choose themes and I can decide width and left and right and above all right all kinds of information maybe man can help you as well so it is always in Linux that you have to help yourself and if the system well if this application don't provide enough information then you go to the github here for instance or to google and say okay google show me tell me how to do it and there will be some tutorial or a youtube video telling what to do but in this case nick is telling us what to do so i'm gonna save control save then i need to rerun this or you log out log in if you forgot the code but oh there it is there it is there is nothing to do, the code is there already. So normally we should source again the, the text, and that's the code that's in here, so it's not needed. Bash RC, there it is, bash RC. That's something we should do, but it was already in order. So this is a color. Now I wonder, of course, um, how, how to continue, because um, can we, we make it bigger, etc. And changing colors you know how it goes so you're already happy but then ah uh, if only if only it's never 80 percent so in the same uh, forum article there's a link and then you start reading and say okay that's from awesome so we have awesome as well shell is fish never tried fish do like fish <laughs> so it says here power line power line done that deviant also uh, we can use some of the power line fonts and then we get ideas from somebody else and say okay let's keep, keep having fun sudo pacman minus s and then these power line fonts they advise to install that as well okay so that's that we have that already if we want to use them now if we want to know right now what's in there then you go to power line let's see so this is the power line itself so we get this fine and in the power line fonts we get this so 10 power line symbols symbols power line symbols power line fonts that's a license no that's not seen for us so otf is what we get power line fonts the rest is configuration okay so one file that's what we got mm -hmm. Then they say we have to run this, so we did. Uh huh, we did, we did. And here's a summary with nice power line in Vim 
control scheme okay terminal below with power line and then we can compare source mm -hmm. select one I believe we have the same code this one might be different so the alias the ps1 I mean ps1 what do we have as ps1 because that's that's this thing in the front what do we have in bash rc as that thing all the way up so this is the line we have and the line they have is a u and an h and a w h and a w oh we have the same line yeah h w okay it's the same line so that's not it for vim you do this for I'm watching the website, I should actually put it here. So then you read and you keep reading. And we have here e epsims.files e json. Well, I call it json, json. With all my students, I have lots of jsons. So we can start adding code. And oh, here we have maybe a link to the same GitHub or not. No. So we can start looking for elements. That's probably enough. Let's see what it provides. Dot files. interesting stuff here we have also awesome and but not that version we have 4.2 VSP WM we have this we will make this one we have this one we have this one we have this we will make so yeah that's uh, interesting stuff in here and here you see all the possibilities uh, maybe a good thing to check out what's in here and that's how we learn. That's by comparing what do I have. And Melt application is a great tool to do that. I guess that concludes my um, basic tutorial. The rest is having fun, figuring out what to do, where to do, copy paste code over and see what it happens if you then uh, do this. So it kicks in, you know, like so. And there you go. And uh, you can use it. Cheers.